Hello, pre-algebra students. We're ready to start Chapter 5. I have here highlighted the main key concepts in Chapter 5 that we're going to be studying. And starting in Section 1, hopefully this is a review uh, talking about perimeter and area of geometric shapes. A formula is an equation that shows a relationship among cer certain quantities. They are commonly used in geometry. Okay, so below in our first box, we're going to talk about perimeter. <clears throat> the perimeter of a rectangle is just the distance around the rectangle. So you would add the width plus the length plus the width plus the length. And we know from grouping like terms that that means we have two W's and two L's. So the perimeter of a rectangle is typically written twice the width plus twice the length. The perimeter of a triangle uh, is going to be A plus B plus C equals the perimeter of a triangle. So you're just adding all your sides together. So in example one, it asks us to find the perimeter. And example 1A is a triangle. So we'll just say 2 inches plus 4 inches plus 3 inches equals how many inches? So 7, 8, 9 inches. Find the length in example B here of the missing side. So I do not know this side. Notice how I named it X because I don't know that value. But they told us that the perimeter is 12 centimeters. So the perimeter equals, <clears throat> the perimeter is 12, 4 plus 5 plus X. So 12 equals 9 plus X. Now I'm ready to do a one-step equation where I'll subtract 9 from both sides and X equals 3. When you say 12 minus 9, you have 3. So the missing side is 3. And oh, don't forget to put those centimeters, 3 centimeters. All right, in example 2, we're looking for the perimeter of a rectangle. And remember that formula. It's twice the width plus twice the length. That equals the perimeter of a rectangle. So our width here is 5 centimeters. So 2 times 5 centimeters, or excuse me, meters, plus our length is 10. So I'm finding perimeter. So 2 times 5 is 10, and 2 times 10 is 20. So our perimeter is going to be 30. And then go and I always put my unit of measure at the end. So it's 30 meters for example A. Now in example B, they said find the length of the missing side. So I have here W. It's going to be L that I'm looking for. So if perimeter equals twice the width plus twice the length, then 24 equals twice the width, which is 2, plus twice the length. Now I'm going to have a two-step equation because I will need to isolate L by subtracting 4 first. So 20 equals 2L. And now I need to divide by 2. And our length here is going to be 10 inches. Okay, I hope I'm not going too fast. Feel free to pause or rewind whenever you need to. Um, our next couple of formulas are going to deal with area. We're still talking about rectangles and triangles. And the area of a rectangle is not length plus width, but length times width. If we multiply our length times our width, we find out the whole area of the rectangle. Area of a triangle, let's go back and erase what I just wrote. If you took your rectangle and you cut it in half, then you have a triangle. So the area for a triangle is exactly half of length times width, also known as base times height. Take the base times the height, 
the base times the height and divide by 2 and that will give you the area of a tr triangle. So find this area. So our base here is 4. 8 is not our height. Notice 8 is slanted. Height is always, whenever someone says, let's measure how tall you are, they always try to get their feet right up against the corner of the wall and make a perfect 90 degree angle with the wall. I've never seen any guy, especially guys, seems like they want to be tall, slanting over like this to the wall to measure his height. He wants to get his heels up against the wall and make an exact 90 degree angle. So we need to know the height of this triangle and that's why they gave us the 7 inches. So it's base which was 4 inches times the height divided by 2. So half of 4 is 2 and 2 times 7 is 14 inches. That's the area for uh, example 3B. Oh, that's supposed to be 3A. 3A. Now for 3B, if the area is 15 inches squared, oh, let's talk about why that's inches squared. If we come back over to this problem, I had 4 inches for my base times 7 inches for my height. And when you multiply inches times inches, it does make inches squared. So I messed up. I should have said 14 inches squared is my area. So now they've told me inches squared is the area for this triangle. And I see that I have my height is 3 inches. So find the length of the base. So the base is what I have not been given. So um, the formula that I wrote up here was length times width. Length times width is the same thing as as I plug in area, which was what I was given, 15 inches squared equals base, this is what I'm looking for, times height, which is 3 inches, divided by 2. Um, I want to isolate B. Now this is why, if you haven't caught on, um, this is why we had to review isolating the variable, doing one step and two step equations. This is the same thing what we saw last chapter that looks like this. Last chapter we would have 15 equals 3 halves b. Do you remember that? And we said well, we divided by a fraction and when you divide by a fraction you flip and multiply. Okay, same thing's going to happen here. We're going to end up with 2 thirds times 15 in this problem. I want to isolate B. So if you didn't think of this, what we did last chapter, you might have remembered that you have the right to multiply both sides times any number you want to. I always sing that little song, I've got the power. I've got the power here to get rid of the fraction. As long as whatever I do to the right side of the equal sign, I do to the left. And if I multiply by 2, now I have 30 inches squared equals 3 inches times B. That's 3B. Now I'm going to divide by 3 inches, divide by 3 inches, and one of these inches cancels with one of the 2 inches because it was inches times inches, inches squared, and 3 goes into 30, 10. So 10 inches is what B equals. My base is 10 inches. Well, let's check the math that I sort of started with over here. 3 goes into 15 5 times, and 5 times 2 is 10. So you would get 10 for B, whether you did it um, the way we did in Chapter 4, or if you just took the time to undo the fraction and then divide by 3. It turns out to be the same math. Isn't it amazing how pure math is? As long as you're obeying the rules, the answer is going to come out right. Finding the area of a rectangle is easy. It's just length times width. So the area here is 30 yards times 10 yards. And 30 times 10 is 300. And it's yards times yards, so that makes yards squared. Here they gave me the area, and I'm supposed to find the missing 
length, length times width. So 6.5 meters squared equals 5 meters times L, divide by 5 meters, divide by 5 meters, and I'm going to have meters in my answer. And 5 goes into 6 once and a 15, 3. So it's 1.3 meters would be my length. Mrs. Winston has a small bag of grass. Oh, I think this was be grass seed. A small bag of grass seed that will seed 750 square feet. Okay, square feet. So the area is 750 square feet. That's the area that she needs to uh, seed with grass. If the area she wants to reseed is 30 feet long, so our length is 30 feet, how wide can the area be? So when it says square feet, you know that's your total area. So area equals length times width, 750 equals 30 times W divided by 30. And I know I didn't put my feet, but I'll take care of it at the end. And 3 goes 25, and it's feet, our unit of measure. All right, that does it for today. Mom's hungry. They're always hungry.